my name is Jordan and welcome back to the bucket coding series. Today we're going to be working with animated scoreboards and this is a very long requested task um, that I've just haven't had time to cover and you know I really didn't I wanted to do this right and I'm pretty sure I found a way here uh, to do this properly uh, and efficiently. So let's go ahead and jump right into it um, and I've went ahead and created some boilerplate code to make everyone's life easy here. So let's go ahead and jump into our uh, scoreboard task uh, class here. So we have an instance of our animated scoreboard and this uh, map integer uh, to a list of strings and then that's the scoreboard content map, a constructor that sets all this up uh, and then the run method. So this whole thing extends bucket runnable and we run it right here. This is gonna refresh every uh, every second and on, on enable we start this task. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right into it. We don't need to uh, do anything inside of this uh, uh, main class here. We just need to focus on our scoreboard task. Uh, so first thing we want to do is we want to iterate through every single player. So we want to say um, get server right, get online players. So we're just going to go through every single one of our players that is online here and set their scoreboard. Um, now to make the make life easy here, um, we could generate. Um, okay, so let me just let me explain this a little bit here. Uh, this scoreboard is going to be the exact same scoreboard for every single player, and everyone is going to be on the same scoreboard um, to make this a little more efficient. If you wanted to replace certain content inside here with, say, a player's rank or their uh, money inside the server, you would have to do some extra code here and there. But uh, you all are smart people. I'm sure you can figure it out. Uh, if you do need any help, you can comment down below and I will um, try and help you out as best I can. So we're going to do this pretty efficiently. So we're going to have this loop right here and we're going to set the scoreboard. So we're going to say set scoreboard. And this just makes things efficient um, so we don't create a ton of scoreboards. Now, if we do want per player scoreboards, for whatever reason, uh, you would move all of the code on the left to type in uh, into this for loop. So let's go ahead and type in scoreboard. Whoops scoreboard and we're just going to set that equal to animated scoreboard dot get server dot get scoreboard manager dot get new scoreboard so every single time we run this it's going to be a new scoreboard and we're going to go ahead and say scoreboard or actually we need to iterate through all of our content uh, so we're just going to say for uh, and then we're going to say entry set or entry uh, it's going to be integer list string and then we're going to say entry colon and then scoreboard con scoreboard content map dot entry set uh, so what this does this allows us to iterate through every single key and value inside of our hash map here so in this case this is uh, our integer is the key and the list of strings is the hash map uh, so let's go ahead and grab or go ahead and start typing this out so let's say scoreboard dot and then we want to, actually, there's one thing we need to do before we do that. We need to say uh, private int current cycle. Uh, and let me just go ahead and look over this structure real quick, just to make sure this is good. Set that equal to zero, actually. Okay, so I just went over the code just to make sure this would work um, as intended, and it should. So now that we have this private int curse, current cycle, um, every time we finish going through this loop, we're going to make this um, increment by one um, until we reach the maximum. So let's go ahead and set an int max cycles. And we're going to say, and here we're going to store that. We're going to say private int max cycles and set that up right here uh, just so we know how many cycles we can complete um, we're actually going to go ahead and check that actually right here we're going to say if max cycles equals current cycle current cycle whoops current cycle is going to be equal to zero just reset that then down here we're going to say scoreboard actually first of all we need an objective to do this we need to say objective objective equals scoreboard dot get objective or register new objective and we're going to call it dummy and its criteria is going to be dummy. Um, the name doesn't matter, the criteria does. So you want this set as dummy um, in order to make the scoreboard work properly. I've never tried doing it in another way. I'm not sure if it would work, but this is just how I've done it for um, every single project I've ever worked on. We're gonna set the display slot of this objective to the sidebar, which is where the scoreboard would be on uh, this side here. Um, and so now we can say objective dot get score, and then we're going to say chat color dot translate alternate color codes and we're going to have this and symbol we're going to say entry 
actually, first of all, let's make this a little safer. So we need to say string current, um, and then you know what? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna have string current, and so now we're gonna say we're gonna try and catch here. Actually, we can do this a little easier. We're gonna say if entry dot get value dot size is less than or is hmm, yeah, it's less than the current cycle. Then we're just going to set our current string equal to empty. So we're just gonna make this an empty uh, an empty value, and actually what we can do is just say, let's wrap this like that. Oops, can I not do that? Huh. So let's just wrap this entire thing in an exclamation point. And if there is um, no value for this list at this point, we're just going to um, not do anything for this line. And so we can actually get rid of that string there. And so now we can say string text is going to be equal to entry dot get value uh, dot get current cycle. Uh, and then right here we just plug in our text, and then we need to say dot set score equal to our entry dot get key. So now we should essentially be good. We just need to set these player scoreboards. So just say player dot set scoreboard scoreboard inside of our loop here, and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and recap this code real quick. So right here, every single time we run this method, every second, uh, we're going to create this new scoreboard, uh, and then we're going to register a new objective with the, with the name of dummy and the criteria of dummy. Uh, remember, the name doesn't matter, the criteria does. We set it up to display in the sidebar, and we iterate through um, all of our content inside of the scoreboard content map. Um, we check if we've completed our maximum amount of cycles. We check that there is indeed text for this. Uh, at this cycle, and if there isn't, then we just don't display on that line. Um, and other than that, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and quickly put in a one in here. Uh, and so now that we have a one for max cycles in here, let's actually make it zero just for safety. Let's go ahead and create our uh, our scoreboard animation here. So let's go ahead and say list string line one is going to be equal to a new Oops, uh, array list. Uh huh. New array list. Uh, and you know what? Let's make it just a quick random string method. So public or private. Okay, well, we'll just say protected string random string. And have a private random object to generate all this junk from. And so we're going to return. Whoops, we need also some options. So private string array uh, strings is going to be equal to that so we're going to return strings whoops strings index of random dot next int uh, from our strings whoops strings dot length and this will basically get a random value out of the strings array so we're going to say hello and we're going to put some color in this so let's make it uh, gold copy all this real quick we'll say doot you know what, let's make this a little fancy. Let's put an H. Um, okay, you know what, that won't work. Let's, okay, delete all that code. You could do it that way. I'm just going to make it actually appear a little nicer than, than that. Uh, so this is going to be our first, our first frame for this line. It's a little weird when you work with this, you know, it's going to get pretty messy. Uh, this is our first frame for our first line. So this is the first thing that's going to appear. So we want this just to be blank. So line one, add, empty. Um, and you know what, we have to put like a color code in there to make it up here, I think. Then we're just going to put an H. We're going to add an H-E. H-E-L. And then keep going from there until we have hello. And then we're going to add an exclamation point here. So this is our first line. Um, so now we can go ahead and create our hash map of all this data now. So we can just say um, map of our integer to our list of string. A scoreboard data um, is going to be equal to a new hash map here and so let's set this equal to our scoreboard data and right here we're going to go ahead and say scoreboard data dot put we're gonna put this at uh, a score of zero and we're gonna put line one as our array so let's lay out how a scoreboard works just to make sure this appears as you want it to uh, so a scoreboard has different scores 
and the scores go uh, up from zero. So if the lower the score is, the lower down it's going to appear. So if I have uh, a total of seven scores, zero to six, six will be at the top and zero will be at the bottom. Now with the animation, uh, everything in here is just normal order. So you can go ahead and you know do it like this and it'll, it should work uh, perfectly fine. So our max cycles is going to end up being line one dot size. Um, and so now what we can do is we can have string list uh, line two, and this is going to be equal to a new array list. And you know what? Let's put this at one, and then we'll put line two at two. Um, and just as a proof of concept, we're just going to not have anything in that list, um, just to see that our plugin works fine if you are missing data. So let's go ahead and build and run this plugin, uh, and we're going to go ahead and check it out on the testing server. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I made quite a few modifications to get this to run. Uh, I did not get this to work 100% the first time. There were many, many bugs, but I went ahead and fixed all of them off camera just to make sure this would work um, properly and not be a, a long, long pain to uh, do on video. Uh, so I'm just going to explain all the changes I made, though, just to make sure everyone knows. Um, so right here, uh, the title ended up being dummy. That's what the name showed up as since we didn't set a title. Uh, so I specified a list for title. Um, so in the same fashion, you can make the lines. You can do the title uh, stuff in here. Um, so then uh, I moved all of this code and the current cycle, all that outside of this loop uh, or else it would be really, really strange with multiple lines showing. Of course, we only had that one line showing, with, but it, so it was fine. But if we had added more, it would have been weird. Uh, next, I did all the logic for the title, so I added a previous title argument, which is by default equal to null. Um, and so when um, there, you know, there is no more titles to display in the case that we're, you know, we're missing titles, which in this case we are. That's just how I set it. Um, and I'm receiving a text. We're just gonna mute that real quick. Um, I did not need to turn that one on. We'll turn that one on. Um, but yeah, so uh, when we're missing um, title strings, we go ahead. And, um, and just do the same deal that we're doing in here. Although actually this one just hides a line. Um, so that's a little different. But, uh, but yeah, so um, this all works fine. And then it comes up really, really nice. Um, and I did some TPS checks and it's above 90 or 19. Um, I think it's a little bad because of the, um, what's it called, the speed I set it at. I had it refresh every five ticks, which is very, very fast. So obviously you don't want it this fast. Um, but you can change that and tweak it to make performance optimal for your needs. Um, obviously, I don't care because it's you know totally fine. But let's go ahead and just for proof of concept, let's add some lines to uh, line two. So we need to add um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. So let's just go ahead and do that. So this is my one. So we're gonna say two, three, four, five. Six. Whoops, I skipped a skipped a number there, and then we're gonna say seven. That doesn't work very well. Okay, and then we're just gonna go ahead and build and run this. Switch over to our server, and now that line two is showing, and you can see since the number is bigger, uh, it is going to uh, be you know up at the top instead of oof. Uh, but, um, so as you can see, since the numbers are in the certain order that we specified, which is one, two, uh, number two appears above the hello. Obviously, we can shift this around um, by changing these numbers here. Uh, and you can also set multiple things as the same integer, although I don't think the hash maps will uh, like that very much. Uh, but yeah, just for proof of concept, we'll switch it around here just to show everyone it's working 100%. There we go. So they've switched now. Uh, and it's all good to go. So everything is working totally fine. Again, the TPS isn't too good. Um, although that's because I have this set. If you were to change this to 20 and then actually give it a good timing, then it would be a little s decent amount slower. Um, but, you know, it would still work. So obviously this really isn't super optimal because this is once every second. Uh, you might, you know, want to have this run a little faster, maybe at 15 ticks or 10 or, you know, whatever. But you can optimize that yourself. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, but before we exit out, let's go ahead and review everything we've done for today's video. Uh, so we went ahead and uh, did the bulk of our code inside of this scoreboard task. So we created our scoreboard objectives on it, made sure to set, um, set it on the sidebar. We used a current cycle integer to cycle through our different values inside of our different lists, uh, both the title list and the content list. 
again, we um, set the scores in this uh, map of integer do list of where we want things to appear in the scoreboard. We made sure to do all sorts of different checks to make sure that if something was not going to appear, then it would either have a placeholder, uh, whether that be the previous title or um, no title right here, uh, or it just doesn't display anything on that current uh, line. And then we just set this up and we made sure to optimize it for performance as best as we could. Um, and we also showed changing of the time period here. So if we set this to 20, that's one update per second. Um, and you can update that as needed. Um, other than that, though, I think that's everything uh, for today's video. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, make sure to comment your video ideas. I know someone commented this one, so I'll probably put this person's uh, recent comment up on the screen or whoever asked for it, um, I think today or yesterday. Put your comment up on the screen. So there you go. Thank you so much for asking about this video and making me uh, go do it. Other than that, I hope you guys all have a great day or night wherever you are. Take care.